Let's now look at the next level of training, prearranged or yaksok kumite, beginning with sambong, three step kumite. The attacker on kamayate takes a deep zen kutsudachi. The defender, Ukete, cuts the hands across the body and stands in yoi, ready position. First, we'll show Jodan Uke and Jodan Ski. When you counter, it is important that you move in, control your opponent's position, and suppress the attacking arm. Step in deeply and strike Jordan. This time, we will use kicks to defend against the attacker's hand techniques. Next, we will use hand techniques to defend against the attacker's kicks. Now we will demonstrate an example of using leg techniques in reply to the attacker's kicks. This time, an example of defending with hand techniques against hand attacks, then countering with a kick. Now we'll show you a method of defending with leg techniques against hand attacks and then countering with a hand technique of our own.
Lastly, we use a foot technique to defend against hand attacks. Then we counter with a kick. その曲その特技対局その位置。はい。よし。はい。3。4。5。6。よし。よし。9。10。よし。
ore その2
金安園さんよっいっしゃいっしゃいっしゃいっしゃいっしゃいっしゃいっしゃいっ倒れー金安祖の4。その後よーしえいさんせいごうろくせしはつかうちょうやよしにいその1裏よし。その2。
Oh! Six. Hearts. Eight. Cold. Two. Eight. Eight. Some. She. Oh. Oh. Six. Ha. Ko. Yep. Out it.
Sanchin. Yo. Es. Hey. Sam. Sí. の方よーいしはいさあしゅーごーうっしゅーしはしくーちゅーそう激
、最大。よし。はい。三。四。五。六。七。最初よーいよしはいさっしーゴーロー四四八九十よし
Sis. Hus. Ko. Jo. Hus. Ei. Sup. Se. Go. Look. Hey. Sis. Hey. Hus. Ko. Joe. Sis. Hus. Ho. Jo. Hus. Oi. Sup. Si. Hey, sup, 
Sí. Go. Uf. Sí. Up. Hach. Ho. Jo. Es. Ei. Sap. Sí. Go. Uf. Sí. Sushiho. Ich. Ich. 
三、四、五、六、一、八、九、十、一、二、三、四。五、六、七、八、九、十、一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九、十。倒れ休め
I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of some important points concerning Tameshiwari. As with all Kihon training, you must be fully aware of what you are hitting with, where you are hitting to and how you are hitting. This especially applies to all Tameshiwari. Be aware of your position, how you are moving, where the opponent is and how you are going to hit. You must fully grasp this concept in your movements. With a foundation of good posture, speed and strength in the instant of impact, and good technique coordinated with correct breathing, your kicks and punches will be very powerful. Aim your attacks at the vital points of the imaginary opponent. We are looking at Tameshiwari training, but you should approach Tameshiwari as a facet of kumite. See it in the same spirit as kumite, as a part of your kumite training. You are not just breaking boards, you are training to improve and strengthen your kumite. <laughs>
Before we continue with the section on Kumite training, I would like to remind you of a few important points. Firstly, the word Kumite means to combine, to mix your techniques with those of your opponent. You mix and blend your movements together. So you have to be aware of your opponent's movements, their attacks, their blocks, their footwork. You must be responsive to them. You must adjust your own movement accordingly. Just doing what you want to do regardless of your opponent is not kumite. So always be aware of your opponent and their techniques as you train kumite. Coordinate your movement with theirs. If they punch, counter with a kick. If they kick, strike. If they block, counter. This is a basic principle of kumite. Also, when you hit, you should be aiming to hit the weak points, the vital points of the body. It is difficult, but you should always have this in mind when doing kumite. As I explained on tape 2, there are a number of vital points on the human body. Firstly, on the center line from the top of the head to the groin, the vital nerve points are known as the first degree vital points. All the main vital points are on this line, including the throat, the solar plexus and the groin. The second degree vital points are found on the lateral balance line from the top of the head, the temple, the mandible joint, the carotid sinus on the neck, down the side of the body, even where the muscles join the bones. The points here are known as the second degree vital points. The third degree vital points are along the spine at the back of the center line. Lastly, the fourth degree vital points are the parts of the body that are hidden when you stand straight. The inside of the legs and groin, the armpit area, the throat and so on. So when you take your fighting stance, you should be aware of these points and protect them. Don't stand open and expose the weak points. Guard, protect your own vital points whilst aiming your blows at the opponents. An extension of your dojo training is tournament competition. If you wish to participate in competition, the most important and fundamental point to remember is mutual respect and honor. Without this attitude, it is no longer a match, it is a brawl. Whilst respecting your opponent, you face the challenge of the match to learn and improve. In matches, there is a result, a win or a loss. If you win, reflect on the victory and learn from it. And if you lose, reflect on the bout and use the experience in your training to improve your skills. This is the correct spirit in which to approach tournament matches.
Humble in victory, yet poised in defeat. Honour all with respect and courtesy. This is the philosophy of one who has bravely faced full contact duels as well as the innermost battles of life. Mas Soyama lived karate. He devoted his life to karate. To the very end, he continued training day and night, never losing sight of his goal, never ceasing in his pursuit of further self-improvement. In Kyokushin Karate, all begins in Kihon and all is realized through practice. Surely such a path of demanding discipline offers more than mere physical strength. Indeed, the martial way imparts its wisdom through intense self-discipline and training. Through an understanding and mastery of its deepest mysteries, it serves to develop a noble and distinguished character. Certainly, physical strength and skill are important. On the other hand, that skill must be balanced with a disciplined mind to keep that power under one's control. In his later years, Masoyama visited many countries, devoting his energies to fostering world peace and universal brotherhood through his art. <laughs> For the true spirit of Kyokushin Karate is this. Humbly carry your head low but your vision high. Reserved in speech but broad of heart. Be considerate of one's parents and always be of service to others. Our responsibility lies in accepting the wishes of Masoyama. To willingly accept the traditions and spirit of Kyokushin Karate and pass them on to the generations to come.